Hi guys, just back from holiday. My grandsons really enjoyed playing with this. Unfortunately, uh, they played with it rather a lot and in the event, in the end, it died. Um, first thing that went was one of the universal joints at the front here was given up. Yeah, that one's still connected and that one's not. So we're going to have to have a look in there, see if there's any chance of repairing that. Uh, I think to repair it, I probably need a 3D printer. Um, it's an unbranded toy anyway, or at least I've no idea where it came from originally. I don't know what the brand is. So I doubt whether I'll be able to find spares. Anyway, that's one problem. The other problem is, if we just connect it back up again, still got some power in there. Okay, steering still works, but no back motor. So instead of being four wheel drive, it dropped to being three wheel drive, that one and those two. And then with a little bit more robust playing, we've burnt out the back motor. So, first of all, I'm gonna have a look at the front and just see if there is any chance of doing anything to the um, universal coupling or whatever we want to call that in there. And then we'll see if we can do anything about the motor. It's not as simple as the screws come loose. So we're going to have to separate this lock just so we can lift that off and have a look. Yeah, I think I can see what the problem is anyway. Do I need to zoom in at all? If I zoom in, I'll probably just have my hands in the way anyway. Let's unplug that. Turn that one off. Is that going to do anything on the front there? Probably not. But it does look like we got to at least undo that one. And that one. So we've got to do the whole thing. Might as well do it anyway so we can have a look inside, don't I? I was actually trying to think if I could do it, just lever it up and just get that out, but we might as well have a look at the gearbox and that, see what we've got. Is that going to come apart? No, it is going to want those off. Surely it doesn't need that off. No, it looks like it does. I'm just hoping I don't need to take the servo off that I put on the other side. Because that's hot glued in place. Oh, there we are. That's why we couldn't undo it. Another screw in the middle. Right. Now it's going to all fly apart and we lose everything. Positive thinking. Okay. So, there's our 
front gearbox. So fairly standard little motor. Reduction gearing, so small gear drives big gear, small gear drives big gear, small gear drives big gear. So we've got reduction and then at this end, that's the bit that's broken, not that bit, but that bit. So I don't see any way of fixing that. Well, if we just lift that out, we can see what the other one's like, can we? No, we can't. We've got to unscrew it. Oh, no. There we are. Right, that's what we're missing. A piece like that. From this end. That looks to me like it's landed hard that way, and that's been pushed over. And split and we couldn't find the bits so that's our problem that bit would sit in there and drive that only that's from the other side so we'll put that one back in again so we don't lose any bits and pieces And that's the bit that that screws into. So that goes back on there. That does absolutely nothing going back on there, but I'll put it back on anyway. Slip that over there, slip that over there, so we can keep it all together. <sighs> what a shame. Still, that's handy to see that motor, because it's going to be the same on that end. And I was wondering... That was the original steering uh, module, so I just wondered if it happened to have the same motor in it. Because if it does, that would be a very quick fix, wouldn't it? Nah. Right, as I understand it, the colour indicates the, um, I'll say voltage, probably the current carrying capacity of the motor. So, although we could just stick it in there because it's the same size, I think the fact that it's green indicates that it's going to be a lower um, current capability. Yeah, I won't, I won't stick that one in there just now. I'll have a look around. I have had some with black uh, end pieces. So worst case scenario, we could do that. And that would give us power again. Oops, that's the wrong place. Over there. seems to be okay. Right, okay, so that's that bit back together. Um, let's put this back together for now. Don't actually need that spring in there because that's doing nothing. Is that possibly getting in the way? It used to have a plastic bit up the middle there so that that would actually give you centering with your toy grade steering but being as I've converted it to a hobby grade servo that is redundant I 
want all fit in there nicely. No arguments, please. Something's not lining up quite right. Let's line it up. That's in place, that's in place. That slipped. Has that slipped because it's slipped down there or because it should be up there? That's what the problem is. Is that enough? You don't really need to see me screwing all these screws back in place, do you? Oh, that in there. No. Rude words. Come on in. No, you want it all the way off to get in there, don't you? I tell you what, I don't know if you can see, I'm actually sweating in here because I'm in the conservatory and the sun is coming in through the windows. And it's getting a bit warm. And that noise, if you can hear it, is one of the solar toys going. I am sweating. Where did that come from? Oh, I know, that was holding that spring in place, which we don't need. Right, I'm going to open some doors and windows because I'm far too hot. Right, we'll call this part two, because I've taken the front end apart and we've established which bit is broken in the universal joint or coupling so that one wheel is still connected to the motor and the other one isn't. The problem we now have is the motor at the back is dead and I've just been through my junk box and I found this one that's got a black end cap because the one in that end had got a black end cap in it so I thought I'd see if I could find one of the same. The only thing is I've no idea whether this is any good. 
like all the other stuff in my junk box. So, uh, well, we'll find out in a minute. Let's take this one apart and see what we can do. So even if I fix the motor in here, it still won't fix the car because it's only three-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive. And that's quite amazing, the difference it made. It just would not climb anymore over the slightest slope. It needs the grip of all four wheels. Are you going to come apart now? Yes. Okay, so basically the same as the other end. Reduction gear. Small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear. Is that even the same size? That looks looks a touch shorter to me. Maybe not. I'd better see if this one works. I'll just put a battery on it and see what happens. It's all falling apart at the moment. No idea what it was on originally. Those look particularly burnt out. I think this is probably a dead one. Well, I'm surprised. Probably here it is working. So uh, I'll desolder that. I mean, if nothing else, at least we can see it run again. Even if it's uh, completely dead, uh, uh, completely useless. Let's just put that on there and see if we can... Oh yeah, because we're going to drive the other motor, but not this one. While we're waiting for the soldering iron, we'll see if we can get the crown gear, crown? No, pinion gear off there. Hmm. That was easier than expected. Interest, will it fit if we put it in there? Oh, that's a bit worrying. The brush tag just broke. Looks like it will fit anyway. So that's a start. So it's going to be fun. Just a thought, I could actually swap the end cap over. And I wouldn't need to do any soldering at all then. Screwdriver. Screwdriver is now buried. Yep, there we are. A bit there. So take that back off there because we can't swap the end cap.
Oh, actually, we could have done, but Grandad's waffling to himself, just ignoring. Right, that one's just metal, well, metal, just brass brushes on it. Let's see what this one is. Uh, I'm just trying to think, somebody, Fat D Man, I think it was, suggested just buying some 130 motors and swapping the end caps on them so you didn't need to take the car fully apart or the gearbox. Uh, I'm waffling, that isn't exactly what he said. It was about the brushes. It was if the brushes were good brushes in there, then you could swap them. Yeah. You're waffling, Grandad. We're talking about carbon brushes versus um, brass brushes. And this is brass brushes anyway. And that was brass brushes, which look pretty dead, don't they? I wonder if that's all the problem is. I wonder if this is any good. It's well chewed up on there. I might just see if I can clean out between the commutator plates and see if I can get it working. All right, this is all getting a little bit more complicated than I want it to be. So I'm just trying to see if we can salvage the original motor. Oh, yeah, they're completely different, aren't they? That was the one I was going to put in it. This is the original. But I'm just wondering if it's just the brushes that are dead. So I'm going to try and swap the brushes around. Right. <laughs> this is a bit more complicated than I intended it to be, although in the end it's simpler. What I've actually done is replaced the burnt out brush, uh, whichever one it was, that one, with one from the other motor that I just brought in and now if I tap the power on it I don't know if you can hear it but it's working pop the gear back on so it wasn't the motor burnt out it was just the brush brushes burnt out So, we should be able to put that motor back in there and it should work. Right, I've just put the motor back in. I haven't done any of the screws up yet. But we have success. But... <laughs> it's still only three wheel drive until I can figure out something to do about the um, universal joints at the front end. Have I put them on the right way round? Yeah, they look okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, how have I done that? <laughs> Can you see what's wrong? Somehow I've reversed the motor. Ah, I know what I've done. Because I took the brushes off, I put them back in the wrong order. Right, okay. I'll take it apart again and swap those wires over on the brushes. 
Right, desoldered and resoldered. Let's see if the wheels turn the same direction now. Good. Right, so just a quick test on the floor. So, forwards. So it works, but we're not four-wheel drive anymore. So it will struggle to go over bumps. Let's make a bump for it. Yeah, you see one, the wheel that turns was able to grip, the other side didn't. Right, that one doesn't turn. That one. That's the one that doesn't work anymore. But that one does. So We got a three wheel drive rock crawler. That'll have to do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.